Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about something that Democrat, Connecticut Democrat Senator Chris Murphy just said and the reporting on the border crisis. But before we do that, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos for liking them, for commenting, for sharing. And thank you most of all for subscribing. The subscriber count just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And I don't understand why, but it does. And so I'm going to keep going. But I want you to know that I really do appreciate it. I thank, I'm thankful for every single one of you that comes and watches, even if it's just one time. So thank you. So, <clears throat> I came across this, and <laughs> I almost fell over when I heard this. I couldn't believe that he said it, but let's play the, the video, and you'll see what I'm talking about. We delivered a bipartisan bill to fix the border with the Republican senator appointed by the Republican caucus to cut the deal. <clears throat> and within 24 hours before the ink was even dry, Republican senators decided they don't want a bipartisan bill to fix the border. They want to pretend they never asked for a bipartisan border bill. Because what they actually want is chaos. Because that's what Donald <laughs> The hypocrisy is sky high. It's sky high. For three years, three years since Biden took office, they've been flooding the border with illegal immigrants, absolutely flooding it to the point where it's becoming desperation time for some of the southern parts of Texas. And we've distributed that pain to New York and Chicago and other so-called sanctuary cities, and now they're feeling the pain and they're screaming bloody murder. All of this is a result of what the Biden administration has done, and yet Senator Murphy sits here and blames the Republicans. Trump says he wants. What the hell just happened? Today, Senate Republicans killed a border deal, they voted it down, that they themselves had demanded and spent months negotiating. It's all part of a sustained effort to appreciably damage our country, to make things worse in America, so that Donald Trump has a better chance of being elected running against. Uh. You know, <clears throat> if the media wore donkey hats, they couldn't be more biased and more <laughs> of a promotional wing for the Democratic Party than they are. This is unbelievable. He's blaming the border chaos on the Republicans. On the Republicans. <laughs> you can't make this crap up incumbent. That's it. If you think that is hyperbole, okay, I want you to listen to the very conservative, I mean, really conservative Republican senator who was the key to negotiating this deal, appointed by his caucus to do so, James Langford of Oklahoma, on the floor of the Senate today, explaining what the hell just happened. I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out before they knew any of the contents of the bill, any of the content, none of, nothing was out at that point, that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you. Because I do not want you to solve this during the presidential election. It seems pretty clear what happened with the Republican senators who voted. Okay, so, 
I don't know why I have this frog in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so a popular commentator is now a senator. <laughs> Who cares what a popular commentator said? Let's talk about what's going on. The Democrats, the Democrat administration, Biden's administration, has been flooding the United States with illegals. Millions and millions and millions of illegals for three years. They refuse to enforce the laws that are on the books. They refuse to seal the border. They refuse to do anything at all to stop or even slow down the flow of illegal immigrants. But it's all the Republicans' fault, right? Yeah, sure it is. Sink this deal. One of the people who worked closely with Senator Langford, who had a front row seat to this entire spectacle, is Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut, the chief Democratic negotiator on this deal, and he joined. Now, what Chris Murphy is about to say, it, it ought to, as an American, it ought to anger you to no end. So, Senator, it was like a week and a half ago when this bill was coming together, and I was reporting on it, and I was talking to various people, and people were wondering what was going to be in it, and I was talking to our, our team here, and I was like, let's get Senator Murphy. I want to argue with him about the provisions of this border bill. But that's, <laughs> we're not going to do that interview because it died. It's not, we're, we're, so at some point in the future, we'll argue about what's in it. But let's just table that for a moment, okay? I want to just retrace this. For my 20 years covering this issue, the trade is this. They want more border security and enhancement. Democrats want a path to citizenship. This time around, the negotiation didn't have a path to citizenship. It was entirely on their terms in order to get Ukraine funding, right? Well, I mean, Chris, that's been a failed play for 20 years. So right. you are right that that has been the Democratic strategy for 30 years, maybe. Uh, and it has failed to deliver for the people we care about most, the undocumented Americans that are in this country. This is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me. Let me go back and have you listen to this again. That has been the Democratic strategy for 30 years, maybe. Uh, and it has failed to deliver for the people we care about most. The, uh... the people we care about most. Really? Undocumented Americans that are in this country. <coughs> <coughs> the people that we care about most are the undocumented Americans that are in this country. What a wonderful sleight of hand. They're not Americans. They're undocumented. They're not undocumented. They're illegal aliens. They're citizens of foreign countries that are in our country. And these are the people that Chris Murphy admits we, the Democrats, care most about. I'm sure he hopes that this clip will get hidden. But there it is, folks. Let me do it one more time so you can see what he's saying. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Strategy for 30 years, maybe. Uh, and it has failed to deliver for the people we care about most, the undocumented Americans that are in this. So he doesn't care about his constituents. He doesn't care about Americans. He cares about undocumented Americans. They're not Americans yet, but as soon as we get them in the country, we'll figure out how to make them Americans. But that's who we care about, not the American citizens that we were elected to represent. Do I need to say anything else? Do I need to make it any more clear to you what the goal of the Democrats is? <laughs> Look. I can't stand Republicans. I think Republicans are a bunch of wussified jerks that don't care about the country. But the Democrats are even worse. They care about undocumented, quote, quote, Americans. They care about people who are not even citizens. That's who they care about the most, according to Senator Chris Murphy. 
the most. They don't care about you. They don't care about what matters to you. They don't care about your life, your job, your health, or anything else. They care about the people they care the most about are undocumented Americans. In other words, illegal aliens, Salvadorans, Guatemalans, Costa Ricans, Chileans, Argentinians, Iranians, Afghanis, Africans, People from every single country in the world, Chinese, I pointed that out in a previous video, how the Chinese are sending military-age males over here. That's who they care about, folks. They don't care about you. And I would say that's true of the Republicans, too. Boy, do we need massive change in this country. Do we need massive change? We need, we need a savior. We need God to come and save us because the human beings that we have in positions of power in this country don't give a dang about you. Don't give a dang about me. They could care less about us. We're not their main goal. You understand? Chris Murphy just made it as plain as the nose on your face. If you don't get that, there's something wrong with you. Wake up. Oh, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh. As a veteran of this country, I could not be more irritated at the representation, quote-unquote, that we have in Congress and in the White House and in the Department of Justice and everywhere else in our government. The entire thing is a boiling, festering, putrid mass. <clears throat> oh, boy. And for all of you followers that are from other countries, I, I'm sorry I rant about this stuff. I know, you know, it really isn't your problem, but dang it. I, I, I just, all I can do is pray. Pray fervently. And I do that every day. And I pray for you. I pray that you'll have an abundant life. That you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time. And that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>